Bafana Bafana have had some great talents down the years but also a number of players who have never lived up to their full potential for various reasons. Welcome to Football Navigator as we take a look at the 10 Bafana Bafana bad boys who either wasted their talent or became infamous off the pitch once their careers had ended. Tandani Njumayelo played three times for Bafana Bafana between 2011 and 2013, but any chances of representing his national team looks over after he was found guilty of cocaine use and banned from football for four years. His contract at Orlando Pirates was torn up and he will only be eligible to play football again around his 30th birthday. It was a costly mistake by him, his agent said last year. He says he was lured into this thing by friends at a party but now he has to live with this forever. Bryce Moon was involved in a tragic accident in June 2009 in which he struck a pedestrian causing her to die. After charges were initially dropped and reinstated, Moon was convicted of capable homicide, fined 60,000 and had his driver's license suspended for six months. Now that incident forever changed the fortunes of the fullback who at the time had just finished a camp with Bafana Bafana after the 2009 FIFA Confederations Cup. The football player played a couple of international team games after that incident in the build-up to the 2010 World Cup but having been a regular before did not add substantially to his caps count and ended with 17 caps. Libuhang Murula was a member of the Bafana Bafana squad that went to the FIFA World Cup in France, though he had only appeared for South Africa in a friendly against Iceland just prior to that tournament. Libuhang played in Peru for some time and reportedly acquired citizenship of the South American country but gained notoriety back home with a string of crimes following the end of his career. The football player has been accused of car hijacking, theft of generators and electronic goods, ATM robbery and armed robbery. The player has also been convicted for malicious damage to property. In, 2000, in 2015, he was charged with being in possession of a cell phone jamming device and a police uniform. Now, locally, he had three spells with Jomo Cosmos and also played in Turkey. Tabang Molife also won plenty of notoriety during his playing career and then against after it. It was his robust tackle on England star David Beckham during the 2003 friendly against the Bafana Bafana that broke a bone in the superstar's hand and made headlines around the world. Mulefe had earlier played at the 2002 World Cup for South Africa and would win 20 caps in all his last in 2004. He started his career with Jomo Cosmos, later playing for Lyon in Norway and Landmans in France before a spell with Orlando Pirates. It was reported in 2007 that he had appeared in a court accused of breaking into a house in Naturena and stealing a plasma TV worth 12,000. Ayanda Patosi is a source of great frustration both in Belgium where he plays for Lucrane and at home in South Africa. 
Now tipped as a supreme talent, Patosi has been accused of not showing the required commitment to a career as a professional football player and as such has battled with the fitness and weight issues. It is often stated in the Belgian press that he would be playing at a far higher level had he shown the necessary application to training but instead looks as though he will leave the club in disgrace at the end of this current campaign after his latest trouble skipping training for his club last week. Patosi has a long history of tenancy and often been in trouble with the clubs for coming back late from international duty or skipping training. He also missed not one but two flights when called up for national team duty in September 2014. Now missing an African Cup of Nations qualifier in Sudan, former national team coach Sheikh Mashaba was forgiving though and Patosi won the last of his 12 international caps in November 2016. Mbolelo Mabizela Old John. There are many that believed that Old John Mabizela could have been South Africa's greatest ever defender were it not for creepingly disciplinary issues that stand his hugely promising career. The player still managed to pack in 45 caps into the his international career that was effectively over at the age of only 24 years, though he did not play a handful of games after that. Old John captained South Africa 13 times, becoming the youngest player to wear the armband, but was stripped off it after arriving late for a training camp in 2004. There is no doubt of his quality nor the fact that he should have been South Africa's poster boy at the 2010 World Cup, when he would have been in his prime at the age of 29, but threw it away after a session of disciplinary issues. Mabizela won a move from Orlando Pirates to English Premier League side Tottenham Hotspur in 2003 and netted a screamer on his debut but found the bright lights of London too hard to resist. The player returned to South Africa and knocked about clubs playing for Platinum Stars, beat West Vets, but was last seen with the National First Division side Royal Eagles in the 2015-2016 season. Arguably South Africa's biggest ever waste of talent. Brendan Augustine was sent home from the Bafana Bafana squad in the 1998 FIFA World Cup in France for staying out late in contravention of the team's curfew. It was reportedly not the first time either. The forward had started both of South Africa's first two games but was sent packing in disgrace along with co-accused Notimukwena before the third 2-2 draw with Saudi Arabia in the 1998 FIFA World Cup in France. It is the second time players have done this and I cannot accept it. They have a responsibility to the team and the country and they have to respect that. That was the then coach Philip Truzia uh, saying about uh, Brendan Augustine. Augustine also turned down the opportunity to be part of the victorious 1996 African Cup of Nations winning squad to go on trial 
in Australia instead of linking up with the squad. The player ended up signing for Lask Linz. Augustine never played for Bafana Bafana again after his World Cup cam campaign mishap. Eric September is a former Kaiser Chiefs and Mamelodi Sundowns striker and won two caps for South Africa shortly after the team's readmission to international football in January 1993. But the player saw his career cut short by a car accident. He would go on to infirmity when he went to jail for murdering his wife and the rape of another woman spending 13 years behind bars before being released in 2010. The player was initially sentenced to 27 years in jail. September was convicted of crushing his wife's skull with an iron bar while the rape was described by magistrate Boscha as the most brutal he had seen in 30 years on the judiciary. Tabo September had been out on bail for the rape charges when he killed his wife. After his release in 2010, he claimed to be Born again Christian becoming involved in community projects. Jinaid Hartley made his debut for South Africa as a 19-year-old and was seen as a player with huge potential but he would earn a total of only five national team appearances, the last of which came two years after he made his first. Now reports of off-field problems surfaced and his career parted out as he eventually retired in 2008 at the age of only 29 years. He moved to Europe to play for Lens in France, victory Settable in Portugal but never featured in a competitive match for them. And he returned to the PSL where he made a couple of starts for Orlando Pirates in two seasons. Jined Hartley later moved on to play for Morocco Silos, Ajax Cape Town, Marisbeck United and for Malayan, Malaysian second tire side Sarawa but never really managed to get his career back in track. Noti Mukwena along with Augustine Mukwena was sent home from the World Cup in France in disgrace, ending his hopes of an international career. Mukwena never actually played a game for the national team despite being part of the squad for the France World Cup, though he had featured for South Africa in the under-23 side. Notimukwana was plagued with the reports of ill discipline all throughout his career that include stints at Orlando Pirates, Amazulu and Morocco Solos. <laughs>